Killing me, kill us. And now, and now, and now, the COVID red eye. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, today we're going to talk about some of the things we can do with an adjustment layer, the hue, saturation, and lightness layer, how to control it. And of course, we're going to change eyes. So I have a picture of red eyes up here, and I'm going to show you how to do it. We have a picture of our eyes open, and I've already gone through this. Did some skin correction because if you want to look, here's my original. So I started with some corrections, and now I want to play with the eyes. The first thing I did is I lightened and brightened this up, so I added a fill light and clarity. I can just bring up, and this does everything because I haven't um, highlighted the area or circled the area I wanted with a selection tool. I bring up everything I want, and just focus in on the eyes. I close this. I can hit invert. Now it's a black mask. I come over to my paintbrush. Put my materials palette and I'm painting in white. Off to adjust the right side. And I can paint. Again, adjust. I'll make sure I've got it. There you go. Right into the eyes. I'm turning it off. Finish the same thing there. It got a little bit brighter. The great thing about adjustment layer. Come on, I go back. I can add more. So I'm sure I want it. Then the next thing I did is I came up here to a hue saturation and lightness layer. And I was focusing on taking out the reds here. Let's turn that on, everything's white. Now I did the whole eye, but this time I'm going to hue, saturation, lightness. Do how we did last time. I'm going to focus on the reds. And now I've mentioned this before, but I can let's say I'm on reds, anything with reds can go way out of color. There's lots of red there, right? And I can bring that down, but I'm looking for the reds here, so I can bring these in. Bring this in, bring this in, bring this in. So it starts focusing more on the reds closer to what I want. And so this is not a great example, but you can see where there's lots of red. If I bring this back to zero, there's lots of red here and here. And if I change that, it changes that color red. I'm trying to focus. Oh, and I can bring it out. I bring that back to zero. It's a gray. I took too much out, but I can start adding the blue red in there. But I'm trying to make it look natural. So if I take it almost out, we go here. I'm going to invert it. Now it doesn't mess with anything on my main picture, and I can just take out what I don't want. And now if I have just like bloodshot eyes, I can just attack the veins in the eye. And there you go, I've highlighted this or secure the reds. Any red that's too bright you can cover over. Okay, so back that's our hue and saturation, that's our focus today. So we have this one. They have this one where I did the whole eye, so you can see some of the color change just a little bit because I did the whole eye. I did that started up here with the last one tool. And I came across here. Check with that eye, and I'm going quicker. That's a little slower, more precise, more deliberate in my motion. Now, if you make a boo boo like that, you can always hit. Control and you'll see that plus on the lasso turns to a minus and I can take out. I do have mine set for add. If I can hit the shift if I had it for subtract, it would add instead of subtract. It's uh, I'm trying to do just the white of the eye. And now when I do my hue and saturation, it automatically makes what's well, just here, it makes that mask I want. Take reds out and drop them down. I just did all of them, it's faster that way. I can brighten it, or lower 
right, just a hair. And there you have it. Control D to get rid of the lines. I'm going to soften the edges. The gaussian blur. You should see it gets a little blends a little smoother. It's still there. It's just blends in a little easier. So the reds are gone. Now, so that's the fast way. We're going to do another hue and saturation layer. But first, we're going to circle these. And now, if you're worried about color in here, you can control and minus out the center of the eye. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to hit my adjustment layer, hue and saturation. I'm going to go to colorize, and I have to bring out the colors. And once I get Something that looks, I'm gonna really go point out, out on that. You don't have to change the color anything you want. You can bring it down so it too in. But there's no red eyes just because. Bring it down and I can make it closer to pink, the lighter red, the darker red. Right there. Hit OK. And because we selected it, it was Control D, automatically done. So my spillover will be corrected with Gaussian yeah, blur, and then you can adjust the intensity up here, and then you have changed the color of the eyes. Like on this one. So we've done it a couple times. Those are the eyes, and let's close this down. Go up to the four. After. Okay, let's go to our next picture. Say I'm working on this picture and I want to change this color in the middle of the flower. I can go through and select everything and try to change it, or I can do an adjustment layer. Right, you saturation lightness. I can go to it's red and I can hunt down this particular color. So if I went back, I brought it way up high. I'm going to change all those colors. And so the color range now, see these little markers? There's a color range that that red's now going to be. Now, if I make this bigger, it's going to select more of those colors to spread it out. This also gets bigger. This is how far it feathers into it. So I can come on. And I can bring this bigger and it'll stretch out and get the whole flower. So we can play with these parameters here. Keep my yellows and look with just the reds. And again, I would play with these to see if I can get some of this feather in there. We'll bring it back, pack it up. I'm going to play in and out of these and try to get our colors where we want. At this point, we can start shifting this and make them all different color stuff. Let's get that down a little bit. So now without selection and what have you, we have successfully been able to change the colors in the flower. Darker or brighter. You want to try to make them look natural. And if that's done, we can mix it with the natural color that's already there. So it blends better. There we go. We got before, after. 